Yeah, guys, I'm on Testo's, um, Testo's website here, Testo Instruments. And, um, I promote Testo. I think they have good equipment. They got the 320. They got all kinds of stuff here. This is their, their YouTube website, you know. Then I went over the channels. You know, I was surprised to see me there, me and Eddie. Me and Eddie, the only guys there. I was really, you know, surprised that he would, they would put me on there. Um... I never got nothing free from these guys, but that was pretty cool to see that. And I am going to do a lot more with the 320. And um, I'm going to promote the 320 because I believe in it. And I think it's a good piece of equipment that we all should have. The 310 is okay. It's not as good as the 320. The 327 was replaced with the 320. So I just wanted, you know, testo.com right here. Just wanted to show you guys. If you guys want to learn anything about the testo, this is where you want to go. It's right on YouTube. So, testo.com. See what they got here. And they got, you know, click on that and you could go to all kinds of stuff, you know. Testo.com. But it's basically, um, that's their YouTube channel, Testo, right there. Testo Instruments. Yeah, so it was cool that I, you know, I made the list. Um, I got an email from, from the lady, from a lady who was saying that she wanted to, you know, she had seen some of my stuff and she was going to send me a care package, but she never, it never arrived. So I never received a care package. I am on the team testo thing. If you guys want to go to team testo and you can sign up for that, they'll send you a newsletter. It's pretty cool. Uh, once a month they send you a newsletter. So I just figured I'd mention this. It's pretty cool that I, you know, that they had my channel on there. Me and Eddie. It was pretty cool. Thank you, Testo. Hey right, guys, I was here like six months ago. Did a cleaning on it. Ladies, uh, renting out the house, and she wants me to check it. So I'm gonna check the combustion. Put my Testo on there and check the combustion. So we'll fire it up and we'll look at the meter. Testo 320. I can fire it up down here, it's clear. Fuel oil number two, it's good. Right, we'll start it up. Now, well, this I'll, I like to start it up first because you can get kind of a high, a high reading on the CO when you first start it. So there's no sense in shocking my meter. I let it run a little bit and I'll put my meter in there. That's how I like. That's how I like to do it. Check it out. Put my meter in there. We'll see what's happening. That's per million right there. That's the seal I'm really concerned about. Um, the oxygen and also the seal 2 seal 2 wants to be around 12, just below 12, somewhere in that range is good. Let it run for a bit. On a furnace like this, I like to run this thing lean because heat exchange is extremely hot to clean. It's all a bunch of tubes. So I'm running it a little bit on the lean side. See it? Ten and a half on the CO. I could give it less air. But I'm going to probably leave it there. I'm good with that. Incomplete combustion would be high carbon monoxide parts per million. So that's pretty complete right there. So it's a little bit leaner than I like. But i rather run it lean. See what else we got here. Looks good right there. I'm 
关我的。Alright, guys, I got myself a wrench here. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna try to adjust the air band a little bit. I shut it off and started it up, and a little bit of boosting the CO. When you first start it, you'll get a you'll get a little high dose of CO. But I'm gonna bring that CO2 up a little bit by cutting down the air band. Let's see what happens. Cut the air band down a little bit. I feel like it. That changes the. Bring that up a little bit. We'll see what else. How you will determine efficiency is uh, the CO2 in the stack temperature. That will give you efficiency of the unit. So the higher the CO2, the better off you are. But you don't want to go too high because now you're going to be, you know, producing smoke. So See the pot per million really hasn't changed there. Let's see what happens there. Parts per million, see it three? Parts per million? That's good. It's running clean. 12. See, I'm a little, see, 12.3. 12. Say, I'm too high. I gotta give it some more air. See how it's climbing? I'm getting a little concerned there. And when I'm done, I can do a smoke test. Tell you how to do a smoke test. So we'll give a little bit more here. And we'll leave it right there. Can't beat the test, dude. Can't beat the test, dude. It's still 320. Let me set up. Draft gauge. If I want to check the draft. A little smoke papers. You put a little paper in this thing. Pump it 10 times in the smoke pipe. See if it does smoke. So you check it. All right, I'm good. I'm just below 12 there. Oh, the CO2. I'm good with that. We'll check it for smoke. Parts per million. We're good there. Check it for smoke. Before we do that, let me uh, save this thing to clipboard. I'll save this to clipboard.
the smoke dust. It's just a little paper that goes in there like that. And we'll stick it in there and I'll pump it. Pump it ten times. was black and show right up on that little dot right there. I'll circle it for you. You can see I circled it. See it? There's something. That's oh, clear. Zero smoke. Well this is a little pump. The little end here that unscrews and you stick the paper in there and tighten up this end that holds the paper in there. And you just pump it. Stick that in the smoke pipe. You pump this ten times it pulls the air that's inside the smoke pipe through the paper, so if it's black, it'll show up on the paper. Smoke test, very simple. Alright, last time I was here, I had my CO2 at 1075, and my parts per million was 5, and I was 80.3% efficient. I was running it lean. Now this time I come over here and I, um, I dropped my CO2, I brought it close to the 12, 6, 11.65 on a CO2. Efficiency went up 82% and uh, parts per million went down to 2. So it's running, it's running cleaner and better now with a little bit higher CO, uh, C, CO2, I'm sorry. I like, like I said, I like to keep mine below 12, uh, but you just want to have it below smoke. And if, you, if I ever took this cover off, you'd see there's a bunch of tiny, tiny little like half-inch tubes in there. If this thing ever gets sooted up, it's going to be one hell of a job to clean it. So that's why I like to run them lean, especially these rod units. Now, it's hard to clean a furnace. A boiler is much easier. Put a new filter in there for them. Kind of damp down here. <laughs> kind of damp down here in the basement. Very cheap. I think she will fast. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these. I think I put this thing in a long time ago. 02. 12 years ago. So she's running strong. That's good. That's two. That's a good meter right there, the 320. Good meter. Very good. Just a summer home, anyway. So it's fine, yeah.